Paradoxes are proof that reality is much stranger than we imagine. They make us doubt logic, common sense, and in some cases, our very existence. Today, I bring you 10 of the most perplexing paradoxes, the ones that have tormented philosophers, scientists, and curious minds for centuries. Some challenge the laws of physics, others break logic, and some even make us question whether reality is truly what we believe it to be. Join me on this journey where each paradox will be a new blow to your perception of the world. Will you be able to solve any of them? I doubt it. One, the grandfather paradox. Imagine you invent a time machine, travel to the past, and prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. This means your father was never born, and therefore, neither were you. But if you were never born, how could you have traveled to the past in the first place? This is a classic paradox that makes us wonder whether time is a one-way river or if, somehow, reality adjusts to avoid these contradictions. Some theories suggest that the universe self-regulates and makes it impossible for us to alter crucial events, while others speak of alternative timelines branching out with each decision. But what is the truth? No one knows. The nature of time remains one of the greatest mysteries of science. Does the past still exist? Is the future already written? Or is time just an illusion created by our consciousness? Perhaps time travel is possible, but only in ways we cannot yet comprehend. Two, the Fermi paradox. We look at the sky and see billions of stars. We know that many of them have planets in their habitable zones. Life, in theory, should be common in the universe. So, where is everyone? This is the big question posed by Enrico Fermi in 1950. If intelligent life is possible and the universe has billions of years of advantage over us, why have we not detected a single signal, nor an advanced civilization? The answers range from the idea that all civilizations self-destruct before reaching interstellar exploration to the possibility that we are simply not interesting enough to be contacted. What if we are completely alone in a vast and indifferent universe? Or even worse, what if something is out there, but we are better off not knowing? The more we search, the more the silence of the cosmos weighs on us. Is it a warning? Are we looking in the wrong way? Or is the answer something so shocking that we are not yet prepared to face it? Three, Olber's paradox. If we look at the night sky, we see that it is dark with small scattered lights, the stars. However, if the universe were infinite in space and time, every line of sight we directed toward the sky should end at the surface of a star. In other words, the night sky should be as bright as the surface of the sun. But it isn't. Why? The solution to Olber's paradox has several explanations. First, the universe is neither static nor eternal. It had a beginning, the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. This means we can only see the light from stars that have had enough time for their light to reach us. Additionally, the universe is expanding which causes the light from distant galaxies to stretch and shift to longer wavelengths, becoming infrared or even invisible to the human eye. Four, Schrodinger's paradox. It is perhaps the most famous paradox in quantum mechanics. Imagine a cat inside a box with a mechanism that has a 50% chance of triggering and killing it. According to quantum mechanics, until we open the box and observe its state, the cat is in a quantum superposition both alive and dead at the same time. Schrodinger's paradox exposes the strange nature of reality at the subatomic level. Does reality need observers to exist? Does our perception create the world? This leads to deep questions about the very nature of consciousness and what reality is made of. Some scientists believe that multiple universes are generated with each quantum possibility, while others seek a theory that eliminates this uncertainty. If this applies beyond atoms, then our entire universe might be nothing more than a complex probability wave collapsing into a single reality only when observed. But who, or what, is the ultimate observer? And what happens when no one is looking? Five, the twin paradox. Einstein's relativity tells us that time is not absolute. 
Imagine that one twin travels into space at a speed close to that of light, while the other stays on Earth. When the traveler returns, he discovers that his brother has aged decades, while he has only aged a few years. This paradox is not just theoretical. It has been experimentally confirmed with atomic clocks on satellites. But the question remains, what does time really mean? Is it just an illusion? If time can be different for two people in different circumstances, does that mean our perception of the present is relative? The twin paradox challenges our intuitive understanding of time and reinforces the idea that reality is much stranger than it seems. If the experience of time changes with speed, does that mean we could travel to the future simply by moving fast enough? And if so, is there a way to reverse the process? The deeper we dig into time, the less it seems to behave the way we expect. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to join the family of universe. Six, the black hole information paradox. Black holes are one of the most baffling mysteries of the universe. According to Einstein's general relativity, a black hole is a region of space where gravity is so intense that nothing can escape its pull, not even light. Anything that crosses its event horizon is doomed to disappear inside it forever. But here's the problem. According to the laws of quantum mechanics, information is never completely destroyed. It simply transforms. This means that if we throw an object into a black hole, all the information about its structure should, in theory, be recoverable in some way. 7. Russell's Paradox Mathematics and logic are designed to be precise tools, free of contradictions. But in 1901, philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell discovered a problem that shook the foundations of set theory. Imagine there is a library that has a catalog listing all the books that do not mention themselves. Now ask yourself, should this catalog include itself in its own list? If it does, it contradicts itself because it would be mentioning itself and thus should not be on the list. But if it does not mention itself, then it meets the condition of being a book that does not mention itself, so it should be on the list. 8. Zeno's Boatman's Paradox Zeno of Elia devised several paradoxes about motion, but the most famous is that of Achilles and the tortoise. Suppose Achilles, the great Greek hero, gives the tortoise a 10-meter head start in a race. When Achilles reaches the point where the tortoise was, it has already moved a little further. And when Achilles reaches that new point, the tortoise has moved a bit more. Following this reasoning, it seems that Achilles will never be able to catch up because there will always be a distance, however minimal, between them. We know this is not true, but the paradox reveals something strange about the way we think about time and movement. Is space infinitely divisible? Is time a succession of indivisible moments? Our understanding of physics has advanced, but the questions raised by this paradox still trouble modern mathematicians and physicists. Could it be that movement itself is just an illusion? That reality is not continuous, but made up of discrete moments? The implications of this are profound and could change how we understand the fabric of existence itself. 9. The Teleportation Paradox Imagine that in the future, a technology is invented that can scan every atom of your body break it down into fundamental particles, transmit the information elsewhere, and reconstruct you exactly the same, with all your memories intact. At first glance, it would seem like a perfect instant transport. But here comes the big question, would you still be you? If the process involves completely disintegrating you in one place and reconstructing you in another, does that mean the original version died? Or does the copy retain the same continuity of consciousness you had before? And if the machine accidentally creates two versions of you in different places, who is the real you? Are you just a set of information that can be copied without issue? Or does the destruction of your original body mean your death, leaving only a replica with your memories? This paradox is similar to the ship of Theseus. If we replace all the parts of a ship, is it still the same ship? And if we use the original pieces to build a new ship, which one is the authentic one? Ten. Newcomb's Paradox. Suppose an omniscient being has designed a game with two boxes. Box A always contains $1,000. Box B can contain $1,000,000 or be empty. The omniscient being gives you two options. 
One, take only box B. Two, take both boxes. The trick is that this being has predicted with absolute certainty what you'll choose. If it predicted that you would take only box B, it placed the million dollars inside. But if it predicted that you would take both boxes, it left box B empty. The question is, what should you do? If you trust the prediction, you should take only box B, since the omniscient being will have placed the million dollars there. But if you think rationally, at the moment of choosing, the contents of the boxes are already decided. So taking both seems like the best option. Paradoxes are like cracks in the fabric of our understanding. Fissures that reveal the incompleteness of our theories and challenge what we believe we know. From the impossibility of retrieving information from a black hole to the uncertainty of our own identity and teleportation, each of these paradoxes forces us to rethink the nature of the universe, time, logic, and even our own existence. Perhaps the answer to these questions is still beyond our reach, or maybe we're looking at the problem from the wrong angle. But if one thing is certain, it is that the deeper we dive into these enigmas, the more we realize how vast, strange, and mysterious the universe we live in truly is. And who knows, maybe someday, someone will find the key to solving what, for now, seems impossible. More than 75% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed to the channel. So, if you want to support us, don't forget to subscribe and share the channel so that we continue to grow as a universe family. Don't forget to leave your like and tell us what you thought of the video. See you next time. See you later.